I've got a Troy Belt TB30R sitting here, and this is a neighbor's, just had it out cutting the grass with it, and the blade's quick cutting. The original factory belt on this mower is a 43.5 inch belt. I was not able to source that today, but I do have a 43 and a 44, so we're going to try to swap this belt out, see if we can get him back cutting grass today. If this sounds like something you want to know more about, welcome to the Bald Eagle 242 YouTube channel. I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly here, but I'll let you know here if these belts will work. If not, I will will put a link below the video to the correct belt and I'll make sure and put a good link to a good belt down below. This is pretty much the same mower as the Craftsman R110 or the Cub Cadet CC30H. The deck and the belt and everything I'm going to show you today should be the same. We'll go ahead and get started on this. I think this will be a really quick video that's going to show you everything you need to know to get this done on your own mower. First thing I'll do is come around over here on the side lower your deck all the way down as low as it'll go. Once you get your deck lowered down, there's a plug right here. This is for your blade engagement so that if this is not in place, this doesn't work. So go ahead and unplug that. Go ahead and pull this out. This can be a little tricky, but basically you pull this down so that you slide that around and it'll generally just like that pop right out of there. Make sure you don't lose this little washer. Leave that right there where that's at right now and we're going to go around the other side. Right. We're on the other side now. This is the side with the battery on it. There's another pin right here in the back. Same way with this. Just go ahead and pull this out. These can be a little tricky, but just pull up on that edge there and then slide it out. And again, don't lose your washer here. There's one in the front here. This one's a little bit harder to get to, but this is the only one in the front. Slide that off of there and take your washer off. Once you get those pins out, you can usually just push this out. You may need to put your hand underneath here. Just lift up on this deck a little bit. Just be careful you don't mash your fingers. And you can push that right off of there like that. When we did that, it actually fell off here on the back. So I think, yeah, both sides should be off. This cable right here, this is your engagement cable. It also has a pin in it. Go ahead and pull that out. That goes through a hole right there behind this spring. Just pull that straight back, and that cable will slide out of that little groove right there. Once you get this off, just lift this up. And keep this in mind, when you put this back in, this spring comes in from underneath. Go ahead and loop that out of there. Before you try to pull that deck out from under the mower, come back over here and just raise this back up. That way your brackets are not in your way. Now I can see here this belt is, see there where that belt's damaged, it's already off. But if that belt is not off, you have to unloop that off the uh, pulley on the back of the engine too. So we got the cable off, we got the wire off on the other side, got our brackets up. With everything disconnected like that, this should slide out. Literally takes about two to three minutes. I'm gonna stop this video for a minute. I actually just sat down to start editing this video and I just realized I neglected to tell you something while I was putting this belt on this mower. I wanna make sure I show you this because this is a very common problem on these mowers. There is a little bar on this deck and a lot of people have seen comments in forums and stuff where people say is this some kind of manual engagement lever or handle? Trust me, it is not. What that bar is for is it's to keep the pulley in line with the deck depending on what height you put the deck at so if the deck is down it pushes this up and down but that bar is responsible for keeping that pulley that little idler pulley lined up it's very common for that bar to break off and if that bar is not in place you're going to put this belt on and it's going to come off almost instantly or it's going to break because that pulley will not stay lined up where it's supposed to be so while you've got this deck off or you can actually just look under the mower and see if it's there this one is fine that's why i didn't really mention it but i just thought this is a common problem i better stop this video right now put this in here so you know what to look for i'll put a link to it down below now we got that out from under i just put it up here on my little work lift you can see where that belt has come apart right there the cords in the center are still holding but it's broken stretched enough that the belt jumped off i'll show you real quick here how this works but we've basically got the belt wrapped around the pulley for the blade blades underneath this is your engagement pulley right here this belt comes over this like this. There's a little bolt right there. It actually goes under that. This would come around that pulley and then around your pulley on the engine in the front. When you pull the blade engagement down here, it puts pressure on that pulley. And all this does is tightens that belt down on the engine pulley. And when this tightens down, it starts spinning that blade. That's how simple this system is. There's really not a whole lot to it. To change this belt, you've got three bolts here. The heads on these are each 10 millimeter. These little metal bars right here are guides 
that guide this belt around this pulley so it's critical to have this guard in place helps to have a little bit of an extension there so you can make a full circle around with this guard in the front take the front bolts all the way out and this bolt here you don't have to take this one all the way out we're just going to loosen it up enough so we can fold this guard up like that and then we can get this belt off this pulley I do not see any kind of adjustment on this mower. Some mowers do have a uh, adjustment where you can move a bracket back and forth so that you can put a little bit different size belt on it. This one does not. The problem you'll have here going with a shorter belt is the blades will not disengage. And a belt that's too long, this will not go in far enough to allow the blades to engage. We'll start out and I'll try the 43 inch belt first. Hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't, we'll pull this back off. We'll put the 44 on it and see if that works. If that doesn't work, we'll have to to get another belt that's actually 43 and a half inches you're going to know by the end of this video if a 43 or 44 inch belt will work one other thing you need to do here on this guide pulley for your engagement pulley go ahead and take this little guide off i know you can kind of force the belt up in there but don't take a chance on damaging your brand new belt just go ahead and take this out and all this is is this is a guide so when you disengage the blade it keeps it from jumping off this little pulley if you take this and try to force your belt in there you can actually bend this out and then your belt may not stay on there the way it's supposed to that's just a bolt with a little sleeve over it first belt i'm going to try here is the half inch by 43 hopefully this will work if it doesn't we're going to put the 44 on it and try it just take your new belt loop it down there around this pulley for your blade and then that will come right by there. We can go ahead and put this little guide bolt back in here. This will help to hold it in while we're putting it back on the mower. Don't tighten that down too tight because it's just threaded in this little sheet metal piece here. So we got this around there. Got it on our blade engagement pulley. I'll show you up close here. Goes between the pulley and this little bolt and that way it can't fall out of there. Now we'll go ahead and put our bolts back in this guard and we're ready to put this back on the mower. I will take this out and pressure wash it off though. We'll make sure this is clean when we put it back on. So just get your hole lined up there. Put your bolt back in that. Same thing on this side. And then we'll tighten that down. I don't think you need to see me pressure wash this off, but that's ready to go back on the mower now. I'm going to take it out, clean it up real quick, and we're going to slide it right back under there, and I'll show you how to hook it back up. All right, got this all cleaned off now, so we'll slide it right back under there, make sure it's in the same position it was when you took it off. I will show you this plug right here, too. This is where we unplugged that little plug that was for this deck chute guard. What that is is a safety switch, so if this guard is not in place, if you take this off and try to start your mower, your blades will not engage. First, check to make sure that this little side guard is all the way on, and if it's not, this switch could be dirty or bad right here. We'll just slide this right under here. Make sure your deck arms are still up so it's easy to get this under here. I wanted to do a better job of showing you this because this belt was already off this back pulley when I took the deck off. But basically what you're going to do, take this belt, put it through this little loop right here. And this is a guide to help guide the belt around the pulley. I do not have any of the brackets hooked up on the deck yet. This is the first thing I do is put this belt back on. So once you get that through that little guide, then you're going to pull the deck back a little bit and then put it around this pulley in the back. So we're doing this before we hook up any of the brackets and then just go ahead once you get it through this little loop down here, make sure it's through that first, then go ahead and pull it around your pulley on the engine. And you can slide the deck back as far as you need to. All right, once you get that on there, it goes around that pulley and through that little guide there. Usually I'd go ahead and hook that cable up on. I've got the deck right on the ground to give me more room. But right now I'm going to go ahead and drop these brackets down. This will allow us to see where we're at so we can see how close we are on this belt. Something to keep in mind, we're on the side opposite of the battery now. Go ahead and put this side back in first. Go ahead and put your washer on there with your pin. And then you slide in just like that. Just start it right there on the bottom. Push it through to the center. While I'm over here, I'll go ahead and hook this little plug up so we don't forget that. We'll go ahead and put this side in the back. It does help to have a little screwdriver or a pry bar just to kind of pry that out. And then just lift it up, put it on there. Put our washer and our little pin back in that. That in just the right place, it'll pop right on there. And then that's pretty much all there is to putting it back on other than this cable right here. Let me show you why I left this unhooked right here. 
This is where your spring hooks up here for your engagement cable. That's what pulls that pulley back to engage that blade. This has no ability to pull back. So your blade is already fully engaged with the blade brake still on. This has to come back a certain distance before that blade brake comes off. So 43 is not going to work. We're going to pull this off, put the 44 on it and see if that works. I'm not going to show you this whole process all over again on changing this deck, but I will show you here as soon as I get the 44 on here what we got. All right, got the 44 on here now. This is a half inch by 44. I'll show you what happens here when you put too small a belt on. Your blade engagement here, if you look at this piece right here, this is a blade break. And what happens is when you disengage the blade and this belt becomes loose, this hits the pulley to stop the blade from spinning. So if that's out like that, I'll hold it out there, reach underneath here, I can spin that pulley. And if you've got that spinning, when you shut it down, the blades will run for a long period of time. So this actually stops that. When you've got too short of a belt on there, it won't let this go in far enough to disengage that. It has to go basically at least that far just to disengage that blade break. And if you don't get that on there like that, you're gonna wear that thing out and then your blade break's not gonna work. So we got the 44 inch belt on there now. Go ahead and get this back on the mower again. Hopefully this will work. Okay, I've got this back on now with the 44 inch belt. The main difference is where this spring hooks up here with the 43 inch belt on there, I was not able to pull that back at all. It was, the belt was so tight, there was no give in it. So it would have never loosened up, would have never let go of the brakes. With this one on here, we've got plenty of throw. We'll go ahead and hook up our spring here. Same way we took this off, just push the spring all the way down. Slide your cable back in that little groove. Make sure that goes through there so you can get to that hole. And then just put your pin back in here to hold this in place. Now, we'll go ahead and try this thing out. We've got our 44 inch belt on there now. I think this will work. So let's go ahead and raise the deck back up. I did set some weight on the seat. Got the parking brake on, we're in neutral. Go ahead and start this thing up here and see what we got. If you're doing this, whatever you do, do not get your feet underneath the edge of that deck and make sure you don't have any tools down there. So with the 44 inch belt, we disengaged the blades. The blade stopped spinning and our blade brake did engage. So that's what I was watching there. Take this back over to the neighbor, let him try it out. Just make sure that works. But I think the 44 inch belt will work in a pinch. The 43 definitely would not. Four inch belt does work on this Troy built TB30R. Should work on the Craftsman, the Cub Cadet as well. With that in mind though, I always recommend using the right belt for your mower. In this case, it's a 43.5. I'll put a link to that down below the video in the description so you can get the exact correct belt for your mower. Always go with the correct belt if you can. If you found this video interesting, I've got another video right up here you might want to check out. Thanks for watching. Until next time.